Hello everyone and welcome to our Cadillac Q, uh, Cadillac user interface detail tutorial and tech help video. Today we hope to give you a better understanding of how to operate this system as found in most new Cadillac models. This model specifically is the 2020 Cadillac XT6. We will be covering all parts of the system, however we have provided some timestamps if you want to skip around to any specific section. Let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to start out with is our home screen here. Um, as you can see, basically you have your applications populated right here. And then if you go over to the left, you have a um, basically a status display. And this kind of gives you a little preview of different sections that you can click straight into uh, to check out. So we have our climate across the top, audio, phone, and navigation. You also notice in the queue system, you do have a bar that goes across the bottom. This is always present. Um, and includes a home button as well as some shortcuts to different parts of the system so you can quickly go there without going to the home screen. And then on most models you also have a physical home button located somewhere underneath of the display. Now as you can see this is a touch screen um, and on most of the Cadillac models rolling out including this XT6 you also have a control knob down at the bottom if you don't want to touch the display. Um, so to activate that, you just twist it around. You can tell it goes into the non-touch mode uh, when you have the little highlighted thing. So you can just scroll around like this. Um, and then when you see a little arrow, that means you just bump the entire knob down to skip into a different section. So that's how you get down to like the status bar, for instance, or to a different thing. And you can just follow the, see the little arrows and use it as it guides you. But most people probably use it in touch screen mode. So we'll stick, stick with that for the rest of the review. So we'll go ahead and start out with our audio since that's the first application. So in here I'm paired to the standard Bluetooth audio and I can play and pause the music straight from here. Uh, you will also notice along the side uh, we have all of our other audio sources so we can switch to radio. Uh, we can also hit more and that will give us the full entire list. Across the top is going to be your preset. So instead of preset, you just follow the instructions. So you just hold down uh, and that will set that radio station as a preset. We also have some sound settings here and we can switch devices by pressing that button right there. Next up, we have our phone. Uh, this is very similar to uh, most vehicles. So you default into a contact section. Uh, this is where all your contacts from your phone will sync over into the system and you can just select one of these things to quickly go into it. Of course, if you want to dial a number, you do have a traditional keypad. You can set favorites, which is basically just a quick, uh, a quick dial setting. Um, and then you also have the ability to switch your phones as well. Next up, we have the navigation. Um, now this has upgraded, uh, you know, this is the newest version of the Cadillac Q system. I believe it's called the Cadillac Q 3.0. Um, and when they updated this, it switched to a brand new map interface. Um, so what you're looking at now is a much more responsive, much more detailed interface. As you saw, it was syncing in live traffic. That's one of the functionalities of the system. Um, but basically this behaves a lot more like it does on a smartphone. So as you can see, we have 3D maps. We can use three fingers like on Google Maps to change the tilt here to whatever we desire. Right across the top here, you can just immediately start typing in an address or use your voice commands. Um, we also have recent favorites as well as these POI sections that we can search through. So we could say, I'm looking for coffee and we could go ahead and skip straight to having a list of coffee places like Dunkin' Donuts. So from there, you can go navigate directly there. You can call them or choose a specific route. As far as additional settings, you'll just press that little, those little three dots. Um, this will control different things like uh, how you want your map configured. Uh, this will also show you what you want to have on the map. Um, so specifically, uh, like if you want fuel, for instance, um, this will just have a little icon for every gas station that you pass by. That way you don't have to specifically search for it. We also have traffic events. This will just tell you um, different things going on to avoid. 
Um, and then of course we just have various settings. Um, this will just, you just kind of go into the nitty, nitty gritty. We'll get into the settings a little later in the video. Next thing going down the list is our Wi-Fi hotspot. So of course, like every General Motors vehicle, you do have a standard Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, it comes with a free trial period, but after that you will have to pay for it. But as far as pairing, um, when you use your device, you'll just look for this name here once you turn it on, and then you'll use that password to sign in. Now one of the nice abilities of the Cadillac Q system is that you have a user interface. Um, so you can actually set this up to have different keys identify different people um, and that will allow you to have totally separate settings. For instance, a husband and a wife, they could have totally different settings um, as far as how they want the system configured, what they want on the home screen, stuff like that. And what you just do is you sign in, create a profile, link it up, and then it'll work from then on automatically. Now the next two things are some of the most important things to you guys, um, and that's your Apple CarPlay system and your Android Auto system. These are standard across every model with Cadillac Q. Um, and then what you do is just plug in your phone, whatever phone you have, to the uh, appropriate USB port in the vehicle. Once you click through a couple setup screens, you'll just be able to click straight into things like that. Now, I do have the Android system, so we'll check out Android Auto, but Apple CarPlay does work the same way. Um, so once you get into it, it just takes over the display here. So just like every other car, it is exactly the same. So you've got a little home screen. You can click over into your phone. This will just show you uh, your recent contacts and you can access things like that. Uh, of course, if you get a Cadillac that does not have the integrated navigation system, um, you will still have access to Google Maps or Apple Maps via these systems. Um, so as you can see, this works very nicely. You can pinch the zoom. Um, and in the latest update here, we actually have the satellite map, so it's a really nice looking system. Finally, you can control your audio sources by clicking that button right there. And then when you want to go back to the Q system, you're just going to click this button right here and click Return to Cadillac. We also have our OnStar services right here. Um, this will just allow you to customize different things that you have um, inside your OnStar system. Like the Wi-Fi hotspot, you do have a trial period for this and then you pay extra for it later on. Um, but it does have some interesting features and uh, you have a little account here basically to make adjustments to different things and check when, for instance, that it expires. Up at the top here, you can adjust your climate controls. Um, they are redundantly located up here if you want to do this for whatever reason. Um, but the better benefit is that you can adjust the rear climate control if you have a Cadillac that's so equipped with that. Now down here along the shortcut bar, um, you can actually click onto this. This is more or less a notification shade. So when you click into it, um, it brings you to uh, some notifications. So as you can see, we had a notification about our SD card and you can just swipe that off to clear it if you don't want to see it anymore. Touch that to minimize it. Also, if the time for whatever reason is incorrect, uh, you can make an adjustment here. However, um, it does communicate with the cell tower, so it should stay automatically up to date with the time zones and the date. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start digging into the settings. Now, Cadillac has organized this in a way that's pretty easy to understand. Uh, you have three central tabs across the top here. So you have your system, your application, and your vehicle settings. Um, so we'll start out with our system settings. We've already looked at the date, time, and language. Um, those should update automatically so you don't have to worry about them. Now we'll click into phones. This is just where you can pair Bluetooth devices, add and delete them. We also have our Wi-Fi networks here. What this is, is not regarding your integrated Wi-Fi hotspot. This is actually connecting to your home Wi-Fi so that the system can do updates. Um, it does have the ability to automatically do different types of updates remotely over the air, so you don't have to take it back to the Cadillac dealership. We also have some settings here for your privacy, just turning on and off location services, depending on what you want. Right here is our display mode. Um, 
Most people will just leave it in automatic, but for whatever reason, you can put it in a night mode to darken things up or a day mode. Uh, if this touchscreen is having issues, you can calibrate it or you can just turn it off right there like that. Next we have the sounds. Uh, this has a maximum startup volume, so you can, it looks like it was about halfway up, which is why it was turning on very, very loud um, and startling me, so we'll turn that down. In voice is where you change different things regarding the voice controls. Um, so basically, you can tell it to confirm more or less, which basically just means that the system is more chatty, gives you more instructions, but once you get used to the vehicle, you probably want to put that on less so that you can do things faster. You also have the speed that it speaks to you. Um, you can also have it interrupt or have you interrupt it if you start speaking to it. And you have a tutorial mode. So when you first get the vehicle, it will be more specific and kind of coach you through things to get used to it. Now we'll go ahead and tab over to apps. Um, so what you'll see right across the top is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So if you plug in your devices and you're having trouble getting them to activate, be sure to go into the settings and check these two things and make sure they're both turned on. That way when you plug in, they'll automatically be able to launch. As far as your apps, uh, that allows you in the little app section to whatever apps you download to update automatically. In our audio, this is where we can change the audio settings. So across the top here, you can make adjustments to your bass, mid-range, and treble. You can change the distribution of the sound throughout the cabin, and also change the sound mode. One interesting feature here I have not seen on uh, any other vehicle is an explicit content filter. So this can filter out different types of audio sources just to uh, keep it more fam family friendly since this is a family friendly vehicle. Heading on down to climate controls, um, it, this will depend a little bit on how your Cadillac is equipped, um, but it does have the ability to make, uh, for you just to set default stuff. Um, for instance, we have heated and cooled seats, so we can turn those on, have them, have them turn on automatically, so if it's very cold or very hot, they'll go ahead and activate with the climate control automatically. With navigation, we have various other presets. Um, so you can set up specific places that you go to frequently, like your home and work. You can change your map preferences, which we've already looked at. Uh, you also have route preferences, so you have like fastest or most eco-friendly. And you can also choose different things that you want to avoid, um, like ferries or tolls. We can check traffic preferences. This will show us the traffic live on the system. Um, and then it will you allow it to reroute and find you a quicker route if there's some type of traffic incident. And then next we have our phone section. Um, this gives us a couple different uh, resources here. For one thing, you have a privacy mode. Uh, when you turn this on, this will only show who's calling and text messages and stuff like that in your gauge cluster directly in front of the driver instead of out here in the open for all your passengers to see. And then finally our last tab here is for the vehicle. Uh, now this will definitely vary a lot between your different Cadillac models. Um, but I'll give you just a basic idea of what's contained in here. So as you can see you can turn on and off things like your rear seat reminder, make climate settings. Um, this is where you make adjustments to the various safety systems whatever your Cadillac is equipped with. Um, you can also change the timing of the lighting and stuff like that, um, as well as how the remote locking uh, and starting does, if there's like a default position for the seating. Um, you also notice you have the teen driver settings like on all General Motors vehicles where you can set restrictions for your teenager as far as like audio um, and geographically. And then you also have a valet mode if you're allowing the vehicle to be valet parked. But anyways, that pretty much covers the entire Cadillac user interface. Uh, this is the newest version, like I said, um, and it is inside of all new Cadillacs or is rolling out soon. Hopefully you learned something useful about your Cadillac system, um, and be sure to join us again for more tech help videos.